This is Jackie Chan's final action movie. I have been waiting to see Chinese Zodiac for two years. Ever since October of 2012, I finally see this film from Netflix on August 2014. Not only that, but it is written, produced, directed by Jackie Chan, as well as starring Jackie Chan, as well as cinematography by Jackie Chan, as well as the camera styles by Jackie Chan. Holy crap, he's done a lot of things for his movie. With two years of anticipation, is Chinese Zodiac worth the wait in my opinion? Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review Chinese Zodiac. So Chinese Zodiac is about this man played by Jackie Chan. He is a thief. He and his gang are trying to steal these 12 artifacts called the bronze heads from an animal which come from the Chinese Zodiac. This film, as I said in the intro, stars Jackie Chan. It is produced, written, and directed by Jackie Chan. And it is his final action movie. I've been excited to see this film since October of 2012 when I saw the trailer. The thing is that it came out in Hong Kong on December 2012, yet it didn't really come to America until October of 2013. Do I enjoy Chinese Zodiac? Chinese Zodiac is a huge piece of shit. If I saw this movie back in 2013, this easily would have been and my worst list for the worst movies of 2013. That makes me sad to say, you guys, because I grew up with the Jackie Chan movies. It's thanks to my mom who introduced me to these movies. You know, they're cheesy fun, but one thing you always have to respect about Jackie Chan, whether he makes good or crappy movies, is that he's always 100% committed to his roles. And while Chinese Zodiac is a piece of shit, in my opinion, at least, I know the guy was so committed to his stunts. And that's definitely the biggest positive I could give Chinese Zodiac. Is it cool to see him do his own stunts during the action scenes? Yes, it is. Was Jackie Chan good in the movie? Yes, he is. Because he's Jackie Chan. He's committed. And I respect the fact that the guy wrote, produced, directed, and did a whole lot of other things for his movie. Even though the movie is not very well written not very well directed, and it is horribly paced, horribly edited. Some of the worst editing I've seen in the film, some of the worst visuals I've seen in the film, mainly in the scene that takes place in this jungle forest-like scene. Even though I do think seeing his stunts are cool, I'm disappointed to say that the action scenes, while it has good choreography, it just wasn't very well done. There's no excitement out of the action scenes. There's no tension to them. The music doesn't flow well and the pacing feels so choppy during the action scenes it's hard to really get behind it. There was one action scene that sort of did have me at the edge of my seat. I don't want to spoil it though because it's actually in the climax of Chinese Zodiac. That's the only time in the film I actually felt some kind of tension. Despite all the good stunts in the action scenes, the worst action scene in this movie is this scene that takes place in the forest, the jungle. The background is atrocious. There is a scene where Jackie Chan and everyone else was just riding down on his log. They land in the ocean and they fall out and the background, when they're falling out, it looks horrible. It's some of the worst background I've ever seen. It's really noticeable. Some of the worst visuals and the choreography even in that jungle scene wasn't very well done. The editing is horrible. The way it cuts to another scene, it was very rushed. It was really off. The storyline isn't anywhere intriguing. It could have been something fun for the storyline because I like this whole premise about this man and his crew trying to look for these 12 heads that are part of the Chinese Zodiac. But unfortunately, I couldn't get interested in that storyline. I couldn't have fun. And I am so sad that this is the movie to end Jackie Chan's career in terms of like the action movies. Stick around for the end credits because 
Jackie Chan does pay a little tribute to all the other action films he does in the past and he gives a special message to us fans in the end credits which I found to be very touching and he even said in the end credits thank you for your support whether it's positive or negative to all of his fans around the world and just how grateful he was. But unfortunately, you guys, I am gonna have to give Chinese Zodiac one out of four stars. It really is such a shame. As for Jackie Chan, thank you so much, good sir, for your hard work. Even if I didn't like this movie, I still respect what you could give out of this movie and I definitely respect what you gave with your other movies, so thank you, good sir. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.